Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're diving into the world of data science with a beginner-friendly tutorial on getting started with Anaconda, Jupyter Notebook, and Python. Whether you're a complete newbie or just looking for a refresher, this video will guide you through the download, installation, and initial steps to kickstart your data science journey. Anaconda, Jupyter Notebook, and Python are essential tools for any data analytics professional. Here's why. Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of the Python and R programming languages for scientific computing. It includes many pre-built packages for data analytics, such as NumPy, Pandas, Mapletlib, and Scikit-Learn, which can save you time and effort in the installation and management of these packages. Additionally, Anaconda makes it easy to manage multiple Python and R environments, which is important when working on different projects with varying dependencies. Jupyter Notebook is a web-based interactive development environment that allows you to create and share documents that contain code, equations, visualizations, and narrative text. This makes it a powerful tool for data exploration, analysis, and communication. With Jupyter Notebook, you can quickly and easily experiment with code, plot graphs, and visualize data in real time, making it an essential tool for any data analytics project. Python is a versatile and easy-to-learn programming language that is widely used in the data analytics field. Its simplicity and readability make it a popular choice for beginners, while its powerful libraries, like Pandas and NumPy, make it a powerful tool for experienced data scientists. Let's download and install Anaconda. First, we start by opening a web browser and navigating to the Anaconda website. You can visit the website at anaconda.com download. On the Anaconda website, you will find different versions available for different operating systems. Choose the version suitable for your operating system, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Click on the download button for the latest Python version. Once you click the download button, the Anaconda installer file will start downloading to your computer. The download time will depend on the speed of your internet connection, so please be patient. After the download is complete, locate the Anaconda installer file. The file name will vary depending on your operating system. Double click the Anaconda installer file to start the installation process. If you encounter any security prompts or warnings, click Yes or Allow to proceed. The Anaconda installer will launch and you will be presented with the installation wizard. Follow the instructions provided by the installer to proceed with the installation. Read and agree to the license agreement. It is essential to review the terms and conditions before proceeding with the installation. Next, you will be prompted to choose the installation location. You can choose the default location or specify a different location on your computer. Select the preferred option and click Next or Install to continue. In the following step, you may be asked to choose whether to add Anaconda to your system's path environment variable. It is recommended to check the box to add Anaconda to the path. This will allow you to use Anaconda and its associated tools from the command line. After making your selections, click Install to begin the installation process. The installer will extract the necessary files and install Anaconda on your system. This process may take a few minutes. Once the installation is complete, you will see a completion screen. Here, you may be asked to opt in to share your usage statistics with Anaconda. You can choose your preference and click Finish to complete the installation. Let's get started with Anaconda, Jupyter, and Python. We can find and open the Anaconda Navigator using the search function. Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of programming languages, including Python. Within Anaconda Navigator, we use Jupyter Notebook, an interactive and web-based development environment. We start a Jupyter Notebook by clicking on the Launch button. Before we now switch to the development environment, Jupyter first shows us a file directory. As with Windows, we can access individual folders or existing files. 
We can create a new file by clicking on the New button and Python 3 in the upper right corner. This will take us to a new Jupyter Notebook, which offers a command line interpreter in the browser for working with Python. In Jupyter Notebook, there are several function buttons available in the toolbar that allow you to perform various actions on cells. Here's an explanation of some commonly used function buttons. Save and Checkpoint. The Save and Checkpoint button, represented by a floppy disk icon, saves the current state of the notebook. It is essential to save your work periodically to ensure that changes are persisted and can be accessed later. Insert. The Insert button, represented by a plus icon, allows you to insert a new cell below the currently selected cell. It provides a convenient way to add new code or mark down cells to your notebook. Cut, Copy and Paste. These buttons, represented by scissors, copy and clipboard icons respectively, allow you to manipulate cells by cutting, copying, and pasting them. You can select one or more cells and use these buttons to move or duplicate cells within the notebook. Up and down arrows. These arrows allow you to move the selected cell up or down within the notebook. You can rearrange the order of cells using these buttons. Run. The Run button, represented by a play icon, executes the code in the current cell. It is equivalent to pressing Shift and Enter. You can use this button to execute a code cell and see the output or result. Stop. The Stop button, represented by a stop icon, allows you to interrupt the execution of a cell. If you have a long running process or an infinite loop, you can use this button to stop the execution. Restart Kernel. The Restart Kernel button, represented by a circular arrow, restarts the kernel associated with the notebook. Restarting the kernel clears all the variables and imported modules, giving you a fresh execution environment. Cell Type The Cell Type drop-down allows you to change the type of a cell. You can switch between code cells, markdown cells, and other cell types supported by Jupyter Notebook. These function buttons provide quick access to common actions in Jupyter Notebook, making it easier to interact with and manage your code cells effectively. Now that we have looked at the basic functions in the toolbar and menu bar, let's work with the first lines of simple code. Printing a message. The print function is used to display output on the console. It takes one or more arguments, which can be text or variables. Print hello, world. Prints the message hello, world. Defining variables. Variables allow you to store and manipulate data. You can assign values to variables using the equals operator. Name equals Alice, a string variable storing the value Alice. Age equals 25, an integer variable storing the value 25. Height equals 1.75, a float variable storing the value 1.75. Printing the variables using the print function. Print name, name prints the value of the name variable. Print age, age, prints the value of the age variable. Print height, height, prints the value of the height variable. Mathematical equations. Python can perform various mathematical operations. Here, we demonstrate addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponentiation, and square root using the math module. x equals 10, an integer variable storing the value 10. y equals 5, an integer variable storing the value 5. Addition. Sum result equals x plus y, adds the values of x and y and stores the result in sum result. Print sum. Sum result prints the value of sum result. Subtraction. Difference equals x minus y, subtracts the value of y from x and stores the result in difference. Print difference, difference prints the value of difference. Multiplication. Product equals x multiplied by y, multiplies the values of x and y and stores the result in product. Print product, product, prints the value of product. Division. Division equals x divided by y, divides the value of x by y and stores the result in division. Print division, division, prints the value of division. Exponentiation. 
Exponent equals x exponentiated with y. Raises x to the power of y and stores the result in exponent. Print exponent. Exponent prints the value of exponent. Square root using the math module. Import math, importing the math module for mathematical functions. Square root result equals math square root x computes the square root of x using the square root function from the math module. Print square root of x square root result prints the value of square root result. The best way to get started with Python is to try things out for yourself. Gain experience and start with your first small projects. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.